Welcome back to our series on working with addictive drums from Recording School Online. Next thing we're going to do is actually look at some of the effects that are available here. Well, haven't we already been doing that? Sure, but you've got more. We've got some effect sends. Now, if you look at your individual channels, individual channels, for instance, we'll click on snare again. Here we are. We're looking at our controls that we so far have seen. Our microphone control, compression, EQ. Well, we can choose a different snare from here if we wanted. We've got saturation. And there's a couple of things we haven't looked at. You actually have buzz control. And this controls the amount of snare buzz that occurs in the kit when other drums are hit, such as the toms. Pretty nifty. If you want your drums to sound pretty live, you can bring that up. Or more clean and professional studio drums, you can bring it down. Okay, we also have send effects, such as reverb. And the way you work with that is you to turn it on, you select here, and you've got two of them. Let's just work with the effect send one first, and here's how you turn it up, sending this signal, which is the snare drum, to our effects. Click Edit, which brings us to our effect page. We can also get there by clicking here. Our effect one, these are both reverbs, are various different types of reverbs, followed by an equalizer. You can select which reverb you would want to use by clicking here. Let's say we want to work with a plate. Let's set it for plate. Let's go back, click Edit, and let's turn it on. That quickly, we've got reverb on our snare now. That turns it off. It turns it on. Go back to Edit. And we can actually control and shape that reverb to our liking. Let's change the pre-delay. Let's hear that with the whole kit. We can change the reverb time here. And EQ it over here. Pretty nice. Now, let's say we want to add a secondary reverb to that. Let's go back to our snare, edit, and turn up our send effect for our second effect. Click Edit. Now we have very quick and intuitive controls. Now that's one of the things that's really nice about addictive drums, is that it's quick and easy to use. And this is going to actually send these effects to the master channel, not the snare channel, which is nice because we'll have control later when mixing. Let's hear that again. Back to our kit. Go to our snare. Now let's bring that down a bit. Very cool. Now it's important to note you can also use your own effects, any external effects that you've got in your digital audio recorder and your software you can use on these as well or in place of. It's your choice. Let's continue on. Go to the next video.